Yo! What's good? Oh, I'm fucking up the green screen. Hold on. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy T Ski, man. You call me Tito. And I'm back with another video today, man. Today we got the only time Magic Johnson trash talk Michael Jordan. Now, I didn't see the stories about people talking crazy to MJ. And it don't never go good. So now we got to see if Magic was talking crazy and it was going good for him. You know what I mean? If you're new to the channel, hey, man, subscribe up, man. We on the way to 3K, bro. We around the corner, really. We really down the street. Not even around. The, we down the street from 3K. Let's get there. Let's make it happen. I make videos every day. Reactions every day. Let's get let's get to it, bro. Enough talking, bro. Twenty three Michael Jordan videos in twenty three days. Today we are looking at the trash talk story of when Magic Johnson, for the first time ever, trash talked Michael Jordan, and it went horribly wrong. You may have heard this story before. It's been well documented, but I, I don't think you've ever heard it quite like this. We have all these NBA players and legends talking about this day and the trash talk that happened. This is the story and I hope you guys enjoy. This video did take me a while to edit so I'd really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you are notified when a new episode releases. On the top right of your screen, you can click on that link and you'll find a playlist that has all the Jordan videos that we've done well, so far. Him, talking it's also crazy. in the description, look at him. as well as the footage and content used in this video featured on the screen right now and in the description box as well. I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy. Chris Mullen tells a great story about the Dream Team. Everybody getting out of the way. You and Michael going at it. So all those great legendary uh, players playing in an empty gym in Monte Carlo, and you got Magic and Michael just going at it, verbally, physically. In a practice, <laughs> very loud through curses. Put us there, Magic, put us there. My favorite Dream Team stories revolve all around Michael and Magic. Over the years, there's one basketball nugget that everybody talks about, and I call it the greatest game nobody ever saw. Could you just tell us a little bit about the, the back and forth between them? They were always competitive, I mean, and no matter what, I mean, it, and it didn't just stop when we left the court. I mean, we, we'd go to practice, they, they didn't want to play with each other, they always wanted to be on opposite teams. teams. And it took place during the Dream Team practice in Monte Carlo. Chuck Daly, the coach, said, we're going to get together really knock each other's heads out a little bit yeah. and hey. to make sure that he was able it's funny because like magic not really a one-on-one -on -one type player so like how is he really gonna give jordan that chicken you know what i mean or he's just, is he just talking crazy because he's not a one-on-one -on -one type of guy to accomplish that he put Mike playing jordan as jordan hand and he put Magic Johnson on the other team. Those two guys were the driving force, really, to keep our practice and everything going. They kept that competitive edge with that East and the West going at each other. Everyone knew that Michael was the guy, but Magic just would not pay heed to that. You know, it was funny. I, I tell you this story right quick because you would really enjoy this. So Michael Jordan was setting the tone for us in a winning attitude, the greatest player. When he came in the door, it was all about business. With Magic and Michael, there was that little extra something <laughs> there, you know, and uh, something kind of to prove to each other. I always challenged Michael every day, and sometimes I would win, and most time he would win. You know, we would play. Uh, a Jeez, lot of shooting games, a lot of free throw games, a lot of three-point shooting contests. I mean, we were, we're, we're two competitive people, and so I wanted to push him and he wanted to push me. I took it upon myself to always shoot with Michael. Okay, MJ, free throws today. Who was the first one to 50? Or we had little games, who, who was the better shooter? He didn't want to relinquish that control of the 80s in a sense, even though we were going yeah. into the 90s. So it was who can win, who's going to have the bragging rights by the end of this trip. I'm the young guy. Hey, man. The old, old and this, this, this to me is like 
more like friendly trash talk. You know, the good type of trash talk. I like this type of trash talk. I do this type of trash talk with my friends all the time, bro. It ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just, if you a competitor, you understand. Like, you know how it get for real. You know what I mean? Just trying to beat your guy in anything y'all do. You know what I mean? Because you want the best out of somebody, so... You, it ain't no way to get the best out of them if you're not challenging them. If you just, uh, you got it. Ain't nobody gonna get better like that. I like that. I like that, Magic. I like that. Statesman. I thought I was the most competitive person that I ever knew <laughs> until I met Michael. <laughs> we went at it in Barcelona. I mean, at each other. We, we thought we could beat each other at everything, and we tried to. Free throw, jump shot, three-point, uh, cards. Uh, checkers, anything. We wanted to beat each other so bad. These old guys, they got arthritis. They can't stand in one spot. They long. got arthritis. He's a young puppy. I'm the big dog here. Whatever I say goes. And I never talk trash, but one time in my entire life. With Jordan? With Jordan. Oh, all my right. First ever time ever talking trash. So we're with the dream team. Okay. First ever? And uh, for three days in a row, yeah. we had came into a tie because what Coach Daly did, he split the team up east versus west. We had me, Scotty, Mullins, Bird, and Patrick. All played in the east. Wow. And then we had the west guys, myself, David Robinson, Malone, Mullins, Drexler, and John Stockton. So we would play every day, tie. So this is the fourth day. Is that game in Monte Carlo, was that as competitive as, as anything you've ever done? Best game I ever played in. Best game I ever played in, in, in the sense that no coaching, you know, yeah, there were referees, but not really, you know, uh, and you had 10 Hall of Famers playing against each other, first ballot Hall of Famers. You know, it's not even a question, it's not even a second, third, or fourth, they first, first ballot, and the way we competed, and our desire to sweat and trash talking and all the beautiful things about the game of right. basketball was illustrated in that one particular game. You envision. A game being played, that's how the game is going to be played. Chuck says, okay, this is what's going to happen. We're going to play it like a real game. We're going to play four quarters. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of a game he's competing in. He's got a game within a game. And uh, the competitiveness is, in reality, probably what drives him to be what he is. Well, the game starts out, and Magic's team what? gets way ahead. And Magic, as is his one, Pass. starts jawing a little bit. Michael Jordan came hey, you know, down. This is like, hey, this is this is low key, low key. This is like the bubble. You know what I mean? No fans. You just hooping. Only the bubble had coaches, but no. You know what I mean? This is some intense rec runs type. I like these type vibes. No subs. Let's get to it. Let's really see who liked that. Four quarters is crazy, though. I would be gassed. I would be gassed for sure. Court, and he made a jump shot, and it was lucky. Magic Bank got shot? the ball. He stopped at the three-point line. He took a shot, and he said, right back at you. But it was very hard for Magic to kind of surrender the ground to somebody else. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. <laughs> he broke the huddle. He hit a three, and he's looking at me. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do to you. Fall away jumper. Good. What did I tell you? So he came down again, hit another three. Yeah, that's what he So then I came down. Go <laughs> 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 One more time. So then I came down. <laughs> and he he's so this hard. He's real high. He feels like he's in an opportunity to prove himself. <laughs> I'm still Magic Johnson. I still dominate this game. You ain't the guy. You got other players in this in this gym. Don't be cheating on me. Doesn't take much to get Michael going. Just a little something to tweak him, and it's on. The Michael Magic dynamic would bring that out. Jimmy, his eyes got big. <laughs> Usually that tongue come about right here, now it's way out. <laughs> when you see that look, then you know just get in the damn ball and get out the way. Hey, is there, like, how do, how do they got certain clips of this? 
Like, is there film on the whole game, bro? Can we watch that? Or, like, that's just the time somebody was recording, or they just can't get that, they can't give out that film. Because that would be, I want to see the full game. Oh, we'll watch, y'all want to watch the full game? Send it to me, bro. You know what I mean? I want to see, I want to see Jordan get mad and get active. He talking about, all right, old, all right, old man. Let me show you some. Let me show you some. He start. He start hitting all them, boy, all them. He he. <laughs> man, they stop working, bro. You got it, you know what I mean? As much as it was five on five, money. You could see to Monte Carlo that it was gravitating towards. Okay, Michael and Magic. Magic was hesitant to surrender his place on the mountaintop, and Michael, being Michael. He needed to say, no, I'm on the top of the mountain now. Now, this is the greatest That's shot I've seen. He came down the right side, took off. David Robinson took off. And he said, OK, I'm going to just sit here in the air. Because <laughs> I know David Robinson is going to go down. <laughs> so David Robinson went to the ground. He 360, tongue moving, and dunked it. In a practice game. In a practice game. You ever see Michael Jordan? See, like, 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 cuz, I can't even fathom that in my head. Can y'all imagine that? I can't, I can't see that. He jumped. Okay, so he jumped. Okay, David Robinson coming to block it. He jumped. 360. And then dunked. That's insane. Is that not crazy? That's OD, bro. Like, Jordan, like, his athleticism is unheard of, bro. Who's doing that, bro? So I'm saying we need that film. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I was talking to me about it after that. Saying, look, NBA's not yours yet. You know, I'm still here. Michael's like, no, it's old. This, this is mine. And the funny thing was Larry was, <laughs> was sitting on his side going, it's his. <laughs> Michael basically took the torch in that practice. Larry session said it, you know it's true. Barcelona, and Magic handed it over, not graciously, but he, he said, you know, you're the greatest. Michael's team caught up. And finally, Jordan's team holds on to win. And when it was all what? over, you could really see that something was hovering in the air. Magic's over there shooting alone, and he's jawing at Michael, and Michael is jawing back. Finally, he's Michael sick. starts singing the Gatorade song, like Be Like Mike. Rubbing it in a little bit, as is Jordan's want. To this day, Michael Jordan calls it the most fun he ever had on a basketball court. And that's Magic's what resonated sick. with me. <laughs> We're in the uh, restaurant, and Larry and I sitting there talking. So enters Michael Jordan. And I remember Michael Jordan sitting there telling us, remember this? Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in. We were sitting there. He sits down, and Larry and I are going back, telling stories with each other and just having fun. So Michael says, I just want to tell you guys, I, I, I really, in college, you guys were the two guys I looked up to, so on and on and on. And even in the NBA, you guys have been dominating. But he said, I, I'm just here to tell you, both of you. And he took a puff of his cigar. And he said, Larry and Magic, you had your run. But there's a new sheriff in town. There's a new <laughs> sheriff in town, and that's me. <laughs> he announced it? He announced it to both of us. We both looked at each other and said, you know what? It is your turn. So go ahead, young man, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and we both hit each other. Now, that's a tough line. Well, he's not lying. <laughs> it's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, man, that's going to do it for the video. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. This is why you don't talk crazy to Jordan. You should have knew better than that, Magic. You know what I mean? He's a young dog, but he, you know what I mean? He's a young bull. He don't, he get busy. He get dirty. He get, he get to it, bro. He don't play no games. But if you like this video, let me get a like, subscribe. We dropping every day, man. 
Come for new content every day. Reactions every day. Mr. Consistent is what they call me in the streets. I ain't, you know what I mean? That's what they be calling me. You know what I mean? They say they say I drop a vid every day. I don't know. You gotta hey, you gotta you gotta watch to see. I don't know. You know what I mean? But man, I hope everybody have a good day. Hey, clip your toenails, bro. I heard I heard they getting long, bro. You got a hole in your sock right now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but with that being said, man, I'm out.